In the X window system, an X display manager is a graphical login manager which starts a session on an X server from the same or another computer. A display manager presents the user with a login screen. A session starts when a user successfully enters a valid combination of username and password. When the display manager runs on the user's computer, it starts the X server before presenting the user the login screen, optionally repeating when the user logs out. In this condition, the DM realizes in the X window system the functionality of Getty and login on character mode terminals. When the display manager runs on a remote computer, it acts like a telnet server, requesting username and password and starting a remote session. X11 Release 3 introduced display managers in October 1988 with the aim of supporting the standalone X terminals, just coming onto the market. Various display managers continue in routine use to provide a graphical login prompt on standalone computer workstations running XX11 4 introduced the X Display Manager Control Protocol in December 1989 to fix problems in the X11 3 implementation. Local and Remote Display Management A display manager can run on the same computer where the user sits a euro starting one or more X servers displaying the login screen at the beginning and every time the user logs out a euro, or on a remote one, working according to the XDMCP protocol. The XDMCP protocol mandates that the X server starts autonomously and connects to the display manager. In the X window system paradigm, the server runs on the computer providing the display and input devices. A server can connect, using the XDMCP protocol, to a display manager running on another computer, requesting it to start the session. In this case, the X server acts as a graphical telnet client while the display manager acts like a telnet server. Users start programs from the computer running the display manager, while their input and output take place on the computer where the server sits. An administrator can typically configure an XDMCP choose a program running on the local computer or X terminal to connect to a specific host's X display manager or to display a list of suitable hosts that the user can choose from. Most implementations enable such a list to contain a predefined set of hosts and their respective network addresses, and or a set of hosts that the XDMCP chooser determines by a network broadcast to the available display managers. When the user selects a host from the list, the XDMCP chooser running on the local machine will send a message to the selected remote computer's display manager and instruct it to connect the X server on the local computer or terminal. X Display Manager Control Protocol The X Display Manager Control Protocol uses UDP port 177. An X server requests that a display manager start a session by sending a query packet. If the display manager allows access for the X server, it responds by sending a willing packet back to the X server. The display manager must authenticate itself to the server. To do this the X server sends a request packet to the display manager, which returns an accept packet. If the accept packet contains the response the X server expects, the display manager is authenticated. Producing the correct response might require the display manager to have access to a secret key, for example. If authentication succeeds, the X server sends a manage packet to inform the display manager. Then the display manager displays its login screen by connecting to the X server as a regular X client. During the session, the server can send keep alive packets to the display manager at intervals. If the display manager fails to respond with an alive packet within a certain time, the X server presumes that the display manager has ceased running, and can terminate the connection. One problem with XDMCP is that, similarly to Telnet, the authentication takes place unencrypted. If snooping is possible, this leaves the system vulnerable to attack. It is more secure to use an SSH tunnel for X traffic. History XDM originated in X11 or 3. This first version, written by Keith Packard of the MIT X Consortium, had several limitations, the most notable of which was that it could not detect when users switched X terminals off and on. In X11 or 3, XDM only knew about an X terminal from its entry in the X service file, but XDM only consulted this file when it started. Thus, every time a user switched a terminal off and on, 
the system administrator had to send a SIGUP signal to XDM to instruct it to rescan X servers. XDM's CP arrived with the introduction of X11 A4. With XDM's CP, the X server must actively request a display manager connection from the host. An X server using XDM's CP therefore no longer requires an entry in X servers. Some implementations, the X window system supplies XDM as its standard display manager. Programmers have developed other X display managers, both commercial and free, offering additional functionality over the basic display management, Kanji Ultralight and very configurable graphical login independent on X window, GDM. KDM allows the user to graphically select a window manager or desktop environment in the login screen, simple desktop display manager, the successor of the KDM, written in QML HTTPS, jithub.com slash SDDM, XDM options for XDM. Easy full install, XHOST phonebook, X login, X desktop chooser, menu reconfig, repair utils. LDM, the display manager of the Linux Terminal Server Project, MDM, a graphical display manager developed for Linux Mint. Tlogin, Skologin also checks for expired passwords and performs some administrative tasks. Wings Display Manager, Entranced Entrance, LXDM, a lightweight display manager, part of LXDE, cross desktop, fully mobile, slim, an independent login manager. CDM, an ultralight console display manager for Unix, XLOGIN, X window login with separate XDM CP server, Enter, a lightweight graphical login manager, Orthos, another lightweight solution with very configurable animated themes that use OpenGL only, NODM, auto login display manager for systems like kiosks, appliances and mobile phones, LightDM, a lightweight, modular, cross desktop, Fully mobile desktop display manager by Canonical Limited. On some Unix distributions, the default display manager is selected in file $PREFIXX11 slash default display manager. See also, login manager, X window system protocols and architecture. Sources, XDM CP specification, from the XORG release documentation, XDM manual page, Linda Mui and Eric Pierce. 10 Window System Volume 8, X Window System Administrator's Guide for X11 Release 4 and Release 5, 3rd Edition. References External links, Linux XDM CPHOWTO, Taming the X Display Manager The 10 Display Manager, from the FreeBSD Handbook, Linux Login with a Windows Box and XDM CPA Guide to Logging into Linux Using Windows.